She says, uh, hey, coach, what will it take to keep LJ healthy? Ah, what will it take to keep LJ healthy? Not as many. And, and see, this is my thing with that. I think Lamar has gotten healthy outside of the pocket. But him being outside the pocket is what not really got him hurt. I think him running the, all those inside runs and getting those nicks and, and bumps and, and bruises. And then when he get hit like outside the pocket, it just be like the straw that broke the camel's back. If that makes sense. I think he gets nicked up and bruised and, and banged on so many because he runs so many inside runs. I think when he does happen to because he rarely gets hit outside the pocket. Rarely. He goes down. He runs out of bounds. But because he runs so much up the middle, like like we run a lot of power read with LJ. When I would rather just run straight up zone read with LJ. Because power read with LJ puts him running through the middle of the, the defense behind the guard. Zone read gets him on the edge out there with the receivers and DBs and whatnot. Maybe a linebacker. But power read, he got to go through the middle if he keeps the ball. Because the, the outside guy on power read is the running back or the jet sweep guy. Zone read, the running backs are running inside, and he's the one on the edge doing his thing. So I would much rather run a lot more zone read with inside with, with Lamar than, than power read or even the um, counter bash because that puts him running – you know, running off the two pullers, still in the heart of the defense. I need him outside if he's going to run, but I really would love for the quarterback, the coordinator, I'm sorry, to put together the offense and act like he can't run. Let his legs be secondary unless you're in a situation where, hey, it's late in the game, it's, it's third and one, okay, we'll go back and run a little power read or some stuff like that. Power read don't need to be a first down run for him. That needs to be just in case. Take it take his legs out of your game planning. Let him drop back and then if all the receivers covered, take off and get you 30 yards. Let, let's let's let him get his his rushing yards like that. Now and then, then you save his legs. So man, if you want to add a little bit more of the runs in the playoffs, you got a fresher, healthier QB. You know, in the playoffs, everything is, you know, everything hands on deck, all hands on deck. 